join our free WhatsApp group to get daily latest updates. It's totally free. The test is in four part, part one, part two, part three, and part four. Now look at part one. You'll hear a conversation between two students in the dining hall of the college. First, you have some time to read questions one to four. Now listen carefully to the conversation and answer questions one to four. Hi, Max. How are you? Hi, Melanie. I'm fine. In fact, I'm preparing the coming holidays, and I want to have a car tour with my friends. That sounds lovely. How is your preparation? Well, I haven't begun yet because I'm not quite sure how to rent a car and what the expense is like, and something like this. Ha! <laughs> You've run into the right person. I did the same last holiday, and I can recommend it to you. I went to Avis Rent a Car Company, which is at 14A Dover Road, Oxford. Let me write it down. Is it D O V E R? Yes, and the telephone number is six three four zero nine six three. But if you book for the first time, dial another number with extension. That is six three four zero eight five three. Extension fifty four. Okay, thank you very much. I'll have a try. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to read questions five to ten. Now listen to the conversation between Max and the assistant, and answer questions five to ten. Good morning, Avis Rent a Car Company. How can I help you? Hi, I want to book a car for tour. I want to inquire some information about the grade of the cars and the prices. No problem. We offer a wide selection of rental cars to choose from, from luxury car to economy car, compact car, minivan, and pickup truck. Well,、uh, luxury car is obviously out of my price range, but compact or economy is not big enough. You know, we have seven persons together. Well, how about a minivan? It's perfect for road trips and will make your journey feel like you're in a living room on wheels. I think that's good. Well, what does it feature? I, I mean, what facilities does it have? Unlike most minivans with manual transmission, the rental minivan cars have feature automatic transmission, air conditioning, and AM/FM stereo. If you drive a long, smooth way, you can use the cruise control, which will save you a lot of energy. Good. How much is the price? If you rent an intermediate one, it will cost you fifty-five pounds each day. If it is standard, the cost is forty-five pounds per day. I think the standard is enough. Oh, we have a special fifty percent discount for weekends from Friday to Sunday, but that doesn't apply to tax, recovery fees, and optional services. Well, what are the optional services? Well, they usually include some extra facilities like first aid kit or something like that.、Uh, I know. We plan to start off on Friday, so we have to prepare one day in advance. I want to book from thirtieth of April, which is Thursday. And it will end next Monday. Okay. Could you leave your name and the driving license number? My name is Max, and the license number is M nine zero two one. Okay. You can pick up the car on Thursday noon. Besides, we offer some optional services like street maps, flashlight, and sun sheet. What would you like to have?、Mm, flashlight is not necessary, I think. But street maps are useful, especially when we drive in a strange place. As for the sun sheet, I like to give that a miss. We don't want to spend too much extra money. Okay, Mr. Max. Thank you for calling. You now have half a minute to check your answers.
Now it turns to part two. You'll hear a TV program on an organization of environment protection. First, you have some time to read questions 11 to 20. Now listen carefully to the tape and answer questions 11 to 20. Today in our studio is Sue Gent, a staff member of Clean Up Australia. Thank you, Tony. As we know, the mission of Clean Up Australia is to inspire and work with communities to clean up, fix up and conserve our environment. Now, we are launching Say No to Plastic Bags campaign. The focus is to enable shoppers and retailers to reduce the number of plastic bags handed out at checkouts. How much do you know about plastic bags? Plastic is a recyclable resource. They are manufactured from non-renewable resources like oil and gas. The embodied petroleum energy contained in 8.7 checkout bags is enough to drive a car one kilometer. If plastic is not recycled, this embodied energy is lost from the resource chain. An estimated 36,700 tonnes of plastic bags are disposed of in landfill sites throughout Australia each year. Australians dump 4,000 recyclable plastic bags into landfills every minute. How does plastic litter harm the environment? Many thousands of seabirds and marine mammals die every year around the world as a result of plastic litter. When the animal dies and decays, the plastic is free again to repeat the deadly cycle. There are two reasons that plastic bags are particularly problematic in the litter stream. Firstly, they last from 20 to a thousand years. Secondly, they escape and float easily in air and water, traveling long distances. Now, any questions from you? How can I help reduce the number of plastic bags used? In addition to saying no to plastic bags at supermarkets, you can help reduce plastic bags at convenience stores and takeaway food shops. These retailers account for 47% of single-use plastic shopping bags. You can help in the following ways. For example, you can keep a reusable bag in your car or handbag to use for unexpected purchases. Besides, if you have placed a big order at a takeaway store, ask for the food to be packed in a cardboard box that can later be recycled. Could you tell me where I can recycle my plastic bags? Well, most larger supermarkets and local stockland shopping centres have recycling facilities available. Remember to turn bags inside out and remove any receipts and food scraps before recycling. Contamination can cause problems in production and prevent recycled plastic from being used. What happens to recycled plastic bags? Plastic bags are recycled to make garden furniture, garden sleepers, flower pots and new plastic bags. Should I use biodegradable plastic bags? A biodegradable product is one that breaks down safely, by biological means, into the raw materials of nature and disappears into the environment. There is currently no Australian standard for biodegradable plastic bags. This means there is no guarantee that bags will completely break down, as claimed by their manufacturer. Until an Australian standard has been developed and these bags have been tested, Clean Up Australia cannot recommend using plastic bags that claim to be biodegradable. 
Overall, do our best to refuse, reduce, and reuse plastic bags whenever possible. If you throw plastic bags away, tie them in a knot. This limits the chance that they'll blow out of a bin or blow away in landfills. By following a few simple steps, we can stop plastic bags from blocking our drains and creeks, injuring our precious marine life, and harming our wildlife. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now it turns to part three. You'll hear a conversation among two students and their tutor about the presentation they are going to make at the tutorial class. First, you have some time to read questions twenty-one to thirty. Now listen carefully to the conversation and answer questions twenty-one to thirty. Right, Jason and Karen,、uh, how are your presentations for the next tutorial class? Um, I feel a bit nervous. I haven't done that before. Although many of my classmates in the same tutorial group have finished theirs, but I think them a little uninteresting because they just read out their notes. I hope mine will be more attractive. And... Seems you have a higher demand for yourself. As for me, I have no sense of uneasiness because I made one last semester, but I feel no sense of satisfaction about it. It lacked strong arguments, I think. How much did you get for the last presentation, Jason? Eighty-three、mm, percent, actually. But my goal for the next one is over eighty-seven percent. It's pretty good. What is your topic for this one?、Uh, strategies for reading. I feel my biggest problem is in the reading speed rather than vocabulary, which is most students' problem. Though I am slow, especially in reading articles on my major courses. They are complex and dull.、Mm, have you found any effective methods? Well, I am not quite sure. I suppose to skim the books or articles is a good approach. Yes, by skimming the book first, you get the choicest parts. It saves a lot of time. You don't have to read every word of the passage, but you have to learn to read certain parts intensively. Yes, I include that in my presentation. There is one thing I'm not clear yet. Why don't we make presentations more related to our major? Once you learn to write clearly, read analytically, and listen to lectures effectively, you'll begin professional tutorials. That means you should start from the basics. Well, Karen, how is your presentation? I am still in a panic. I want to find some more interesting topics about writing, but I wonder what articles I can refer to, because there are so many of them. Did you get the list of the reading materials handed out last class? Yes, but there are over twenty on it. I have only a week to prepare, so I wonder if. Okay, can... let me give you some suggestions. You needn't read them all because some of them deal with the same issue. The article by Hallsworth is really worth reading. It covers the aspects of organizing the thoughts and ideas. Okay, Hallsworth. 
You should also read the article by Jackson. But just look at the part on research methodology, now how they did it. Right, I'll read that one. You should also read the article by Fisher, but just look at the part on the writing plan. That is, how to plan your writing in a systematical way. Okay, Fisher, got that.、Um, and if you have time, the one by Risewell says very relevant things. It teaches how to title your articles and make it appealing. You should finish the whole book. Okay. Now, the one by Burns, if I were you, I wouldn't bother with the whole passage. Just read the conclusion, which summarizes the use of rhetoric. Oh, now I understand. Thank you very much. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now it turns to part four. You'll hear a lecture on coral reef. First, you have some time to read questions thirty-one to forty. Now listen carefully to the lecture and answer questions thirty-one to forty. Do you fancy diving in the wonderful world of coral reefs, green sponges, colourful fish, and red crabs? It is a rich garden beneath the waves. But how much do you know about the corals? Are they animals or plants? What are the threats to coral reefs? Today, Mr. Tim Harford, Executive Director of the Coral Reef Alliance, is going to introduce the facts about coral reefs. Good afternoon, everyone. Coral reefs are one of nature's most magnificent creations. It is filled with thousands of unique and valuable plants and animals. Over one quarter of all marine species depend on healthy coral reefs. Humans also depend on coral reefs. These marine ecosystems are the primary source of food and income for millions of people, a vast repository of valuable chemical compounds and medicines, and a natural wave barrier that protects beaches and coastlines from waves and storms. Coral is actually the exoskeletons of coral polyps, made from limestone. These skeletons build up over time, forming the reef. New corals are born each April. At a certain hour on a certain night, mature corals suddenly release clouds of eggs and sperm into the sea. After the fertilized eggs take root on the sea floor, they can grow up to 15 centimeters per year. Coral reefs are present in the waters of over 100 countries. These are warm, 18 to 29 degrees centigrade, shallow, sunny regions, primarily between the tropics of Cancer and Capricorn. Only clear, warm salt water can support a coral reef, and because sunlight is crucial to the reef's survival, the water must also be shallow. The algae that grow on coral provide much of the coral's food. In deeper water, algae cannot get the sunlight they need to grow. Most coral reefs are in the tropics because natural conditions there are perfect. In their modern form, coral reefs have thrived on Earth for over 50 million years. In recent years, however, 
more than 11% of the world's reefs have been lost, with another 16% severely damaged during the El Nino event in 1998. Up to 32% of coral reefs may be destroyed by human activities in the next 30 years if we do not take action now. Corals and coral reefs are extremely sensitive. Slight changes in the reef environment may have detrimental effects on the health of entire coral colonies. These changes may be due to a variety of factors. One of the greatest threats to coral reefs is human expansion or development. As human population increases, so does the harvest of resources from the sea. Due to overfishing, reef fish populations have been greatly decreased in some areas of the world. The removal of large numbers of reef fish has caused the coral reef ecosystems to become unbalanced. As we know, corals are also very popular as decorations. A large amount of the most healthy corals are selected by commercial collectors. They sell the corals to souvenir shops, where a large number of tourists wait to purchase them as decorations or souvenirs. Coral reefs also receive much damage from both commercial and private vessels. The leakage of fuels into the water and the occurrence of spills by large tankers are extremely damaging to local corals. Although much of the coral reef's degradation is directly blamed on human impact, there are several natural disturbances which cause significant damage to coral reefs. The most recognized of these events are hurricanes or typhoons, which bring powerful waves to the tropics. These storm waves cause large corals to break apart and scatter fragments about the reefs. Home to a diverse community of creatures, Coral reefs are underwater treasure chests of colour and activity. Predators and prey swim and crawl among the coral in nature's never-ending dance of life and death. This lively, fascinating world beneath the waves is just waiting to be explored. You now have half a minute to check your answers.